Time for some leg love. We're going to moving into the yoga massage where we're going to start out in sumo to access. Do you know how to get into sumo? Yes, I do. So we're going to get into sumo, and then after we get into our sumo, we're going to move into floating Buddha. This is a great routine to do from floating Buddha. I mean, obviously, we can do it from floating Buddha with the leg loops on. Cool. And you can always write on the back of the sheets I gave you if you want to take notes. So just floating Buddha, no sway. Yeah, come to center. So leg loops at the ankles. Legs open wide. So no sway, okay? Chillax in arms. Great. Cool. So to do the yoga massage, we're just gently helping someone open up the legs, which is a tight area for a lot of people. So we're going to come down. And the most important thing when we do the yoga massage is that we as a practitioner are just as comfortable as the receiver. Because if we're uncomfortable, they're going to be uncomfortable. Um, what we're going to do is measure where our knees can hit their bum. And we're first just going to do these gentle little squeezes. Right? So she's going to drop her hips and lift her heart and relax her head back into her hands. Drop your hips even more. Okay. And just make sure all the alignment principles that we've gone over today, you are actually practicing. So I'm just kind of massaging her glutes and squeezing. That could be like a back and forth. That could be like thigh master squeezing in towards center. And you can even ask them, does that feel good? It feels excellent. Yeah. It's kind of fun. It's fun because I'm slippery and she's slippery, so we're going to have a little slip and slide action, which will add to the routine, but yeah. So hips heavy, heart open, head relaxed. So hips more heavy, more hips. Yeah, so that's, I want you to focus on your lower body this entire time, right, to bring energy into your legs. Good. Yeah, so I'm just playing and having fun with it and making it up. That's the thing about yoga massages, you can just do whatever. Okay, after that, I'm going to help her legs open, so I'm going to push her back. I don't move my body. Wherever I was is fine. And you can just watch her face to see if she's doing okay. She's not smiling. It's actually <laughs> kind of incredible. Super opening, but not a... Yeah, so we're being very gentle. We're not trying to like make a wish like it's Thanksgiving, per se. We're just gently opening. And like, there's a, like a line of energy right here where it gets really tight for people, particularly in wide straddle forward folds. So remember, heart open, head back. Yeah. So give yourself a little hop. There you go. Drop your hips even more. Yeah. So we don't want our body to lose the alignment just because they're receiving, right? Because people tend to just kind of collapse in the upper body, and we want them to stay engaged. And do you have the ability to just turn down the music one notch? Yes. Thank you. And then I'm going to open up a little bit wider. And I'm just kind of inching down towards her ankles. And this might be the biggest opening. But I'll just ask her again, is that OK? I that feel all right? It feels perfect. Yeah. So I'm just gauging the tension. I'm not pushing past that tension. That's perfect. Thanks, Amy. So I get a nice stretch as well. And I'm supporting my head with my hand. So I'm not ringing on my neck trying to stare. I don't need to look as much as feel with my feet. OK, great. And then what we're going to do is encourage her to bend one knee at a time. So she's coming into bow and arrow like, like a pigeon pose. Yes. And then I'm going to do a stretch like this. I could come up not on the knee, but either above or below the knee. I'm just doing a bow and arrow. Just playing in the space, second side. So straighten both legs, bend the opposite knee. Good. And like my foot can go in that little nook. Right? And again, I'm just playing in the space. If you want, you can move closer. There we go. So keep the knee bent. Yeah, so she's working a little bit there. There we go. That way I have something to push and pull against. Then she's going to bring both feet together. Bada. Bada. And the same thing. I'm just helping her knees open. Drop can her I, hips. Can I hold the swing in this one, or you want me to come up? Right. Yeah, would you like to teach? You can, you can teach the, yeah, okay. When you teach it, yeah, let's try to stick with it. <laughs> Just joking. But yeah, let's try and stick with the double diamond. So yeah, nice and easy. Then you're going to reach around and grab for the leg loops, not the swing, the leg loops. Glue the feet together. That is your 
anchor point. And now you're going to push your hips up and lean back. Yes. And when she does that, I like to transition to the sacrum. I can slide. So she's kind of flexy and I know her, so I can slide in and push her up even more wow. if I really want to play. But only if they're comfortable. If they're new, you can slide back and just do a little lift where you're not lifting your whole body. It's very gentle. You don't want to put pressure on the lumbar. My toes are closer to her tailbone and like my feet are gigantic. <laughs> so you can use a little, but I'm actually holding her whole back. Does that feel great? Awesome. Perfect. Okay, great. So from this position, she's going to stay for a moment. I'm going to spin around. <laughs> what she's going to do is start to straighten her legs out, wide like the ladle. Yeah, and then she can bring her arms up overhead. Arms up overhead. Awesome. You go with the labels with the legs together. You might have to help them with the cues. And then the swing slides to the lower back. And then I'm here. And again, only if you're comfortable, give them like a big stretch. Is that okay under that? Mm -hmm. Her head is resting on my knees. Now this might be too much, right? So if we just do the first part and you're like, that's good, that's enough, that's fine. Otherwise, I'm pushing my feet away and pulling on her arms. That's what ladle's supposed to look like. Does that feel amazing? Yes, it really does. Okay, reach up and grab for the swing. I'm helping her head, hips down, legs wide. Yay! And then I add some of the typical rocking here. Maybe working on the legs. So she likes her arms. Yeah, hard open, hips heavy. It's heavy part, part of the heart. Yeah, so maybe one foot behind the heart if they're having trouble opening up the heart and lean back into your head. Yeah, so then one foot on the sick room. Look at that too. I'll talk you guys through it. A little baby step at a time. Whee! And then we're done. All right, so I'm going to get into the swing. Did that feel good? Yeah. Super easy, super gentle. This is probably one of the most gentle besides Cocoon, one of the most gentle. Is everybody ready? So um, Lori's going to start and then Sam's going to start since they kind of know it so you can feel it in your body and then we'll switch. Is that okay? Awesome. All right, so Shoshana, you're going to be on the floor. Awesome. 
So it's just a nice way to start. You don't even have to do a whole lot, like Shoshana was saying earlier. If you add some yoga massage to your classes, it's basically a slam dunk. People love it. They really need that touch, and it helps relieve tension in these parts of the body that kind of hold a lot of tension. Awesome. So after this squeeze, I'm going to do one more squeeze because it felt really good. I'm like right there, I'm like a cat. <laughs> can't no. All right. So after the squeeze, you're going to keep your body where it is. You're going to bring your feet to the inner thighs. Keep your body where you are. Oh, oh, bring your feet to the inner thighs and press them away, straight away. Press away. Yeah, keep pressing. And then you're moving your feet or tractioning down the leg, so it's pushing away. Can so I step them or do you can, want to but slide actually them? just slide them. Just energetically pull them apart like that. Okay? And then come come back and then out again. So you don't slide in. The, the movement is out. Yeah, there you go. And then you can step as well. So soften through the feet if you kind of know what that means. Okay, let the feet be nice and soft. There you go. And just play with it. There's no wrong way to do it, but there's some things that feel better than others. So you might want to check in with your buddy. Right? So now go to the knees. You're going to go right here to here so you don't slide in. Should I use the arch of my feet? No, or the path? Well, if you're doing great. So it's right between the ball of the foot and the arch of the foot. That's that. There's like a little spot there that's okay. really, that fits really well. Yeah, so the whole idea is you're opening up the legs, so you're pulling the legs apart. So I would like you to pull the legs apart more because I'm not really feeling it because I'm kind of flexing. You're very flexible. Yeah. So you want to pull, push the legs apart. That's the whole idea is to get that stretch. Lori, what you're doing is great, but you're on the hamstring. Can you bring your feet up a little bit more so you're so you're more on the adductor? So not up towards <laughs> the knee, but up towards like her hip bone. Right here. Yeah, there you go, thank you. Cue her. It's just a different stretch. Really good, that's great, Shoshana. And just play with it. Just see what it feels like, and it might be a lot for the practitioner. That's it. Do you see how you were kind of pushing mm -hmm. apart? That's it. Yeah. Okay, and you yeah. can rock the person a little. Slow more. Yeah, and you do it nice and easy and slow. You don't want to go too fast in these. We're inviting more relaxation. Amy's like, Totally locking out over there. <laughs> she got the massage <laughs> pro. Yeah. Would right. you do this in a cocoon, like at the end of class? Yeah, we're not chatting cocoon. right now. Remember, okay. we're recording a video and teaching the, the okay. series. Um, so now you're going to bring the feet. Just a gentle reminder, Shoshana. <laughs> She's like, let's just talk about cocoon. And let's bring the feet to all the way to the ankles. Okay, yeah, bend the knees and transition. Nice and easy. And then you're pressing apart there. Press apart. Press away. So it might be a little much for the practitioner, but you're trying to get the legs to. This is kind of the biggest stretch. Yeah, right now, I'm not feeling anything. So, so I need to get closer. closer. Or if you, well, you don't really need to get closer, just go up a little bit higher if you can't press away. So it's this direction here. Okay. So not back, but away. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. This is. We're, we're stretching, that's, that's what we're doing. Okay, great. And now we're going to do one knee bend at a time. So this knee is going to bend, right knee bends. You're going to get your foot in the crook, and then you're going to press away. Both of them press away, straighten this leg. Yeah, press away. Now if you can, straighten both legs. Okay, you can yeah, transition to the the knee. Yeah, press this straight as well, both legs straight. There you go, and now press away, that's the stretch. I'm worried about hurting you. <laughs> I can't even feel it. So. Isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, if you moved yourself a little bit closer, you could probably get a better stretch, but it really is because my legs are a little bit more open than yours. That you're, <laughs> you're, it's a stretch for you, too, right? It really is. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, so press this one back and then bend this knee. Press this one back and bend this knee. There you go. Press. There you go. That's a little bit more of a stretch. So you can go back and forth to each side. Good. And just be willing to play with it, especially if it's new to you or new to the person. You're like, does that feel good? Do you want more of that? That's great. Okay, switch sides. So then straighten both legs, bend the left knee. So you're right in the crease. Get your foot in the crease and they can bend. And then push both legs straight. Knees wide. Knees wide. As wide as possible. So without moving your feet, just 
in your legs a lot. You see what I mean? Mm -hmm. Opening up my mouth. Just push away. Mm -hmm. So it's like, so your legs go wider than that. So you want to be that wide, right? So you're pushing away. So the person gets a stretch. That's how you get the stretches you make. You press your legs away and wide. Yeah. Okay. So try this one a little bit higher. And then try it lower. Just experiment until it feels good. Yeah. Yeah, if somebody's super flexy, all you have to do is slide your butt back towards the center of the mat and push them away more. And the idea is you're not pushing back, you're pushing apart. Right? So push apart more, Shoshana instead of just back. All you're doing is rotating from side to side. I'm not getting any traction. Do you want me to move my foot up your leg or well, keep it above you're, the knee? Well, you're doing both, right? Mm -hmm. You said try it above the knee and then go below the knee closer to the calf, but never on the knee. Yeah, there you go. So if you would push more apart, then it would be a better stretch. All righty, so let's bend both knees together. So here, and then press your legs straight. You don't bend your knees in any of this one. This, the legs are straight. There you go. Oh, there you go. And just gently rock from side to side. So I'm going to keep my hips heavy. Well, she's kind of pushing my feet apart. So, <laughs> But this is good because she's tractioning apart. So I'm getting a really good stretch for my hips. Yeah, I can hold on here, like Shoshana was asking. Uh, if I need, but I like supporting my head. Okay, so pull your toes towards one another, even if they're pushing them apart, and that's a good stretch. Okay, feet together at the center. I'm going to reach around for my leg loops as high as possible, and she's going to transition. Bend your knees, get your feet up. She's going to transition to my butt. Yeah, there you go. Press straight up. There you go. <laughs> that's really good. Good job, Shabana. And like. You can walk, but then you're going to press both feet up eventually. There you go. So you're just giving them a little lift to go a little bit further in it. Yeah. And if you want to try the more advanced version, you're going to slide your butt all the way underneath to center. And then you can press, um, have the feet on a nice safe row. Yeah, right there. And you can press straight up. Leg straight. Or your leg straight. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. So pull your toes down towards my tail a little more. Straight up. That's good. So we're never overextending the lumbar spine, we're lengthening the lumbar spine. So make sure your toes are closer to the yeah. tailbone than that. Me? Yep. Yeah, good. Yep. And I'm going to stay where I am. And then she's going to turn around. So release the person and do a, a 180. So the head is facing the other way. Mm -hmm. And then from here, I'm going to transition into ladle pose. From Namaste into ladle, and then she's going to have her feet on that spot again where the sacrum is. Keep sliding back. I'm almost doing a full collateral all the way back. Okay, okay. so your feet are going to be on the sacrum, you're going to press me away. Your feet on the sacrum, away. Away down. Okay, why don't you straighten your legs? Look at the angles wrong. Because if I were to straighten, I can straighten look here. That's it. But only the top of my feet. Bend your knees a little bit. There you go. Okay, okay soften your feet. That's my seat So keep myself centered, right? And then arms on the head. Get it full on my arms. There you go. Do you guys got it? Or do you need a little bit more instruction out there? Okay. Feet yeah. on the sacrum, she's pressing away and then pulling on my arms to traction the spine. Let's start there, so relax your hands. So, is this um, pull, is this stretch intense or is it light? Just so I can see it in my strength. The only thing is intense is the tension in your body. So if you're, you're transmitting tension to my body, yeah, you would just relax and stretch with like okay. more ease. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. So, to get, like, we don't want to ever transmit that kind of tension to someone else. We want to stretch. It stretch strongly, but we relax. 
being nice and breathe and stretch, stretch my arms more, but be, be relaxed about it. More, stretch it more. There you go, pull it down. So you don't have to transmit tension to get it. Okay, and then I'm going to reach up and grab for the swing. Bring the hips down. Okay. Come back into relaxed arms, and then she's going to just rock me. One foot on the sacrum. This is like that. Uh, away from me a little more. Yeah, one foot on the sacrum, one foot behind the heart, or both feet on the, the, the sides of the SI joints. So the heart is lower where the swing is. There you go. And then you just rock back and forth. Not side to side, back and forth. Push all the way. So press all the way so your leg straightens. And then bend. Yeah. Press all the way. So press and hold. Then you come all the way forward. Press, press, press. So you press not with your toes, but the ball of the foot, because you don't ever want to create tension for their body, right? So the soft, patty part are you know, the parts set. And so um, the one that's receiving, so stay in a V, right? And then chillax and arms are wide. So sacrum is here. Soft feet. So you can push strongly, but without putting tension into your toes, right? So push strongly, but with soft feet. There you go. Straighten your legs all the way. Okay. So we need to slide. Slide forward to the other like this. Yeah. So if you keep your bum in the center of the mat, then you give them a really nice push. If they want a more gentle, then you can slide back more and have some space. So Sam, if you did you do this part yet? Because I'd like for her to feel it in her body so she knows what to do next. Okay. Can they switch feet? Yeah, we'll try both feet here and um, mix it up. So toes turn out. Um, there we go. And then you can kind of lower. Yeah. So then you can play. It's more like the always have the feet on the soft, squishy part instead of the bones. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you don't ever want to push into the bones. There we go. Okay. Find the soft, squishy parts instead of uh, directly on the joints. Yeah, and just play around. You know, sometimes you have to wiggle around um, with your toes to find a good spot. If it feels good on your feet, it probably feels good on your back, and that's just something that you get in time. So that's the leg love. That was fun. Everybody got a chance? Now we have to do the other one, right? Let's roll out. Good job. <laughs> Thank you, buddy. Give them a big hug. It's actually a really easy <laughs> when she stops straining and tensing. So oh, it's just you're tensing, right? You're supposed to just be totally relaxed and then there's no effort. It's just getting used to it. It's okay. At first when we learn something